Good morning everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be reading uh, some uh, words of encouragement from the book of John uh, at the uh, 11th chapter it'll be uh, started at the first verse but it's going to be not straight through the book of John uh, the, the the 11th chapter so it'll be uh, like the first through the um, second, then picking up on the 21st, and then picking up on the 32nd verse, and so forth. Um, There's a really powerful chapter, I think, and I hope it uh, reminds you of the love God has for us. Not only the love, but the power. And he concerned, he's concerned about our needs, our human needs. So beginning with the first verse, John 11 chapter. Now a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. This Mary, whose brother Lazarus now lay sick, was well, the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. So the sister sent word to Jesus, Lord, the one you love is sick. The 21st verse, Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if he had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. 32nd verse. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, our brother would not have died. 31st verse. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and trouble. Where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. <clears throat> 38th verse. Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man. By this time there is a bed older, for he had been there f four days. Then Jesus said, Did not I tell you that if you believe, you would see the glory? of God. So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped in stripes of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Thank you for being with me for the reading of God's word this morning. I hope it uh, brings encouragement to you and you have a great day. Thank you. 
as we celebrate the greatness of our God. He is great and he is greatly to be praised. He can move mountains. He keeps me in the valley. He hides me from the rain. He heals me when I'm broken. He's a savior of the whole world. Giver of salvation. By his stripes, I am healed. Today, I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living. Somebody let hell know he's my protector. Has he looked out for you? Everybody say, awesome.